I remember every pop of it I was broadcasting. And twas history there beat Kilkenny, the rainy All Ireland champions at the time, and many more titles to put with. Them. There were such no hopers that only 8,000 people turned up at the Leinster Hurling Park. The Olympic Games were on in Moscow, and that was the attraction. Kilkenny will demolish awfully, but the miracle happened. They won. That was the first Leinster final they had appeared in since 1969. And you have to go back until 1929 to find them reaching another Leinster final. 80, 69, 29. That was their history. And if you were wise enough that day, if you had a man above telling you what was going to happen, they went on from that first in 1980 to play in 11 consecutive Leinster finals to win seven of them, beating Kilkenny and the likes of Wexford and all these in their way. And there was only 20 years left in the century and they won four all out. If anyone said that in 1980, they'd be sacrificed. No way. After Harbourshire. And the likes of it can happen again. That's why I wrote a book in 2004. It came out early 2004. I was the VMMO in RT. I remembered when I was writing the book. I think I said the last day of the last century and the last millennium. I happened to be out in RT walking along the corridor and somebody dashed out of a studio. He said, we're putting the review of the year together. We have 90 seconds to film. Could you film 90 seconds for us? And I said, about what? Anything at all, 90 seconds. And I said, you'll have to give me greater code than that. Well, what will happen in the next 20 years? I said, I'll be in in a minute. And I looked back over the last 20 years of the last century. And I saw that Offaly came from nowhere. I saw that Donegal came from nowhere. I saw that Clare Horners came from nowhere. Wexford, after a long break, came and an awful lot of things happened. Four Ulster teams in a row taking the Sam Maguire, and all wonderful things. So the 30 seconds that I filled in were a preview of the All-Ireland football final of 2020. It's getting nearer. This was 2000. It was 1999, the last year. And I said to myself, how about teams that have won nothing? And at the time, Westmeath had never won a Leinster senior football game. And Fermanagh had never won an Ulster football time. So I forecast on air in 1999 that the 2020 All-Ireland football final will be played out in Croke Park before a full house world coverage between Westmeath and Fermanagh. <laughs> and I said... One of them will be going for a five in a row. <laughs> I won't tell you which of them, but one of them. Now, it can still happen, but to do five in a row, you'd want to start walking pretty soon. <laughs> and wouldn't it be great if it did happen? And I say, there's no reason why it would. I also forecast that the midfield for the manor will be made up of Machdara Paisley, playing under the granny rule <laughs> and Jason Adams also playing on for Fermanagh under the granny rule. They'll be at midfield for Fermanagh. Lots of changes will take place and I'm glad to see the Fermanagh of the Westmeath ladies are showing the way for that to come through. It could still come through. If it does, I'll be there to broadcast it. <laughs> So the host name is your kind, and by the way, 2013 I declared it on the bridge in Dingle in the last minute of 2012, the 2013 is declared as Blean the Gaelic. 
the year when there'll be more Irish spoken than was heard in hundreds of years, and that will happen. I can see it happening all over Ireland. The Dublin Minor Hurling team of 2012 had eight fluent Irish speakers on it. A Dublin Minor Hurling team. You couldn't but be very positive about what will happen. I parents Shindley and the Bay. But I spent years going to matches. And the one thing I always said, it was a great honour, no matter where the players came, but what was a greater honour to know them still. Because players, they have a, an identity forever if you play in an all Ireland. And that's true of everyone that walked up here tonight now to get a medal. People will be saying maybe in years to go out, that's a person now that was on the West Meet team when they won the first of those, you know, that junior all Ireland day, Asian vote. So it's a brand, and I regard it as a great honour to know these people. Now the game I was in was broadcasted, and it has a connection with Mullingar. <coughs> the man that broadcast games for years and years, and I always say that Arthur was the best steeplechase jumper in horse racing I ever saw. I always said the Spanish battleship was the best greyhound I ever saw. And I always said that Mihal O'Hare was the best commentator I have ever had anywhere in the world. And the first game that he broadcast was here in Mullingar in 1938. The all Ireland semi-final, you'd never guess, between Galway and a team from Ulster by the name of Monet. That was his first game. He even got into sort of trouble over so one thing he mentioned. He mentioned at one stage what they used to call the linesman in those days was the man who ran the line. And he said, I see that the man running the line today is the young Kerry fullback Joe Cahan. Joe was 20 years of age at the time. He was the monster the very full back for three years. But questions were asked in the army because he was a captain in the army and he'd been out sick for six weeks. <laughs> and suddenly there he in the radio, he was running the line in Mullingar. And Joe had to answer the question, but he had an answer for every question that was ever put in. So we say alone to go knowing all these things, but when I usually start out to keep talking for 70 minutes, I know there's a lot more to end, and I wouldn't be here for Ashley. And you know the meaning of Ashley is a vision. <laughs> it's an Irish word for a vision. Let the vision stand up until I get it proper. <laughs> When I was declaring 2013 as Blian Nagaig, I said, Ashley Yair, the Yacht of Spain, and Blavigas Megal Agri. A poet of 300 years ago, he spoke of this vision that was going to appear. And I was saying, is it, is it time to forget that vision? Never knowing that I'd get a phone call, this is Ashley. <laughs> And I'll be able to tell people now, even though I missed the second half of the match of the Westbury, I saw the full match here in Mullingar tonight. She said, they're all, all together, pulling together. There's a lovely proverb in Irish for that, ni nat go that you don't really realize the power of helping each other until you witness a group coming together and willing to do everything. You haven't seen such strength before in that. And I'll finish with another little Irish saying, that means on this night next year, regardless of who will have won and who will have lost, May we all be alive and well and looking forward to the year ahead. For a meal of man.